During its long history, the Indian Army has been at the forefront of hundreds of battles, many of epic dimensions, and its officers and men have invariably come out with flying colors. The second largest in the world, the Indian Army is renowned for its glorious history of valor, gallantry, discipline and grandeur. During the last 300 years, the Indian Army has undergone many changes, accomplished numerous feats and taken the field in countless battles around the world. The Supreme Commander of the Army, President of India, presents the standard to a regiment. Amidst full military regalia in a magnificent mounted parade, The nation has also been forthcoming in showing its gratitude for the sweat and blood of its soldiers. A large number of memorials across the country keep the memory of the brave fallen soldier alive in the heart of every Indian. The names of people emerging from diverse socio-cultural and economic milieu together on a single venerated platform infuse a sense of national pride and patriotic fervor in the youth. A more detailed historical legacy of the gallantry of soldiers can be found in museums. Regiments have their own museums, their glory of historical facts and files, tales of battles won, souvenirs and shields are preserved. When a battle is won, as per the martial tradition, weapons, the flag and the prized possessions of the enemy is carried back and hung upside down. These serve as motivational factors for future generations. From 1947 onwards, the President of India announces awards to honor those brave soldiers who have made the nation proud with their bravery and gallantry. The awards are bestowed in an investiture ceremony held at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. The Indian Army faithfully represents the ideal of secularism. All religious institutions to which the soldiers belong are based within the unit. Members of all communities pray together while fervently celebrating each other's holy days. Religious activity also assists the soldier to combat psychological stress especially under difficult conditions and circumstances. In order to keep their traditions alive, units and regiments regularly hold some functions and celebrations. The most significant of them is the Unit Raising Day or the Battle Honor Day. During such occasions, veterans and Veer Naris of the unit are also invited and a number of functions are organized in which the new generation gets an opportunity to interact with the older generation. In maintaining the tradition of valor, army men have their own regimental war cries. The traditional war cry is practiced in each regiment to whip up motivational levels while engaging the enemy. In peacetime, the war cries are used to create a bond within the fraternity. The officer's mess is yet another institution that the army prides itself for. The mess is a home away from home of the unit officers. Replete in history, the trophies of the units are mostly in silver, invaluable in craftsmanship, housed in the army mess. In the olden days, drummers and pipers were used in battle to rally troops. The tradition evolved into creation of army bands, especially in infantry units. Since time immemorial, animals have had a very special place in the army, be it elephants, camels, dogs. On horses, all of them have been comrades in arms during battles. 
The Indian Army with its rich traditions, unique ethos and great chivalry lives up to the epitaph at the Kohima War Cemetery. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today.